my little project for the day is to get this old mercury vapor fixture going again. I believe it's one of those Regent fixtures. They sold in hardware stores and places like that for around $20. Well, about 20 years ago, I scavenged the mogul base off of this to repair a 400 watt metal halide fixture. And couldn't find these bases locally anywhere and they you can probably get them on eBay but just happened to be in a store which is called a restore I don't know if you ever heard of that but it's kind of like a Goodwill except they sell more construction based materials they do sell furniture but they'll sell doors windows paint and light fixtures and things like that but I just happened to saw this happened to see this there in the store and bought it. it's a nice quality Levington base probably can't see it but under that contact is a spring that helps you know keep tension on that so it's really nice quality porcelain socket there um, problem is it would not fit this I mean, um, the screws would not fit. I couldn't find a screw to fit it, so I just tapped it out with an 832 tap. Same thing with these holes here for the, the light shade, diffuser, whatever you want to call it. Um, I could not find any screws that fit. I don't know where the originals went. This thing's been sitting in my junk box for like... 20 years when I get it going again I don't have a use for it right now but I just want to uh, get it back together and working but anyway I tapped out the holes and I have these screws that should work for the diffuser here so I'll uh, get this put together and we'll uh, fire up the fixture and make sure it still works I have this Philips Deluxe White 175 watt bulb. Of course, that's a 175 watt fixture there. And um, it's a true Deluxe White. It actually has the phosphors, the white coating. Now, I've purchased bulbs before that the coating was just that, it wasn't really a phosphor. And you can tell when you first fire the bulb up if it has that pinkish red glow. You can tell it's really a phosphor. And the ones that don't, you know, that just have that bluish mercury glow are just a diffuser coating. But yeah, these are true phosphors. And that's good because it helps give a little better color quality to the mercury vapor light. So I'll stop yakking here and get this thing put together okay got it all back together set it on this block here I put some tape over the photo cell so it won't turn itself back off and I'll monitor the uh, volt amp draw so I'll plug this thing in and see what happens there you go there's that nice pinkish glow of true DX white mercury vapor six hundred and eighty volt amps it does draw a lot of current upon startup that should mellow out a little bit as it warms up but I'll let it warm up here and come back okay it's been running for about fifteen minutes now and it's at full brightness and these bars you see crawling up the screen, that's due to the 120 hertz flicker of the light interacting with the shutter on the camera. Volt amp draw has dropped back to 323. True watts drawn is 167. It's a little bit under the 175. That means power factor will be pretty poor. 
0.51. Yeah, that's not so hot. If you were so inclined, you could use a capacitor to correct the power factor using the proper type of capacitor, of course. Bring the uh, volt amp draw pretty close to the actual wattage draw. But anyhow, that's about it for this. That is the mercury vapor light fixture resurrection. Thanks for watching.